Today, let's look at how to factory reset ROG Ally. The factory reset will bring the Ally's system back to its brand new at factory states. So that means it will remove all your personal account, data, and settings from the device. We have two methods to do the factory reset on the Ally. The first method is Windows 11 build-in reset. This is the easiest and most common way to factory reset if you plan to return or resell your Ally. Or maybe you just want a fresh Windows 11. This first method is the way to take. The second method we have is ASUS Cloud Recovery. Usually we can use Cloud Recovery in three scenarios. First, if you forgot your Windows password and you can't log in. Second, Windows is completely corrupted on the Ally. The last one is if a new SSD is installed, we can use ASUS Cloud Recovery install a brand new Windows 11 onto the new SSD. The Cloud Recovery is pretty handy in those scenarios. But just remember the ASUS Cloud Recovery only works with the first 12 months. If your ally is out of the warranty, then the Cloud Recovery will not work anymore. Let's start with method 1 first. To perform factory reset from Windows 11, first make sure you keep Alar charged. Then in the Windows search bar, type Reset. You will see Reset this PC. So click on that. Then click Reset PC. From here, click Remove Everything. On this window, we should select Local Install. The Local Install is more reliable and faster. Also, it does not require internet connection. Then click Next and click Reset. Now the Windows 11 reset process started. It will take about half an hour. Just leave your ally there and come back in 30 minutes. You will see this fresh new Windows 11 screen. This is how we factory reset ally from Windows 11. Now let's move to method 2. The ASUS Cloud Recovery will reinstall a brand new Windows 11 from ASUS Servo. At the same time, all your Windows driver on Ally will be reinstalled automatically. If you change a new SSD on Ally, all your Windows is completely down. This is the easiest way to recover your Ally. But in order to use ASUS Cloud Recovery, your Ally needs to be within its warranty time. Ok, now let's start the recovery process. So first, plug in the power supply, then shut down your ally. Wait it turn off completely, then press down the power button. Once you feel the vibration, then hold down the volume minus button until it boots into the BIOS. Then press button Y and we will go to the advanced mode. From this page, go to the Advanced tab. Then we can see the ASUS Cloud Recovery in the first row. So press button A to start the Cloud Recovery from here. Now we can just follow the on-screen procedure. And we need to connect the Wi-Fi network in order to connect with ASUS Servo. So just type in your Wi-Fi password and you will be connected. Just read everything here and make sure your device is ready to download the file. Then press next. The cloud recovery will start downloading all the files. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the download is complete, we can click confirm to continue. The ally will now reboot into the cloud recover mode. And we have to type in the Wi-Fi password again. Unfortunately, this time we are not able to use the on-screen keyboard to input any password and a physical keyboard needs to be connected in order to type in anything here. And this is just a weird experience. So after you type in the password, if everything goes well, your recovery process should start it. But for me, somehow the ASUS server just can't connect with my Wi-Fi. And I thought maybe the ASUS server was done at this time. So I waited for the next day. But I still got the same issue. Then I tried to search over internet. And it seems lots of people have the same issue here. 
People on Reddit claim that they use their smartphone as hotspot and connect it to the ASUS server successfully. So I try to use my iPhone as hotspot, but no luck. It keeps seeing connection failed. Then I switched to an Android phone as hotspot, and it eventually worked. But downloading Windows 11 from mobile phone as hotspot will use about 15 GB data, and it is ridiculously slow, which took me about one hour to download Windows 11 from ASUS server. Once you are connected with ASUS, it will ask you if you want to back up your file. I will select no here because I want a brand new Windows 11 on my system. Then just click yes on this page. The downloading process will start. Just remember if you are using your smartphone hotspot for this connection, it will use about 15 GB data of your mobile service. And then downloading will be very slow. It's going to take about one hour at least. After the downloading process is done, your ally will reboot for about 10 times to install all Windows drivers automatically. So just wait for another half hour. Don't touch anything. It will keep rebooting and installing drivers until you get to the Windows setup page. So just hang in there until you reach this Windows welcome page. Then you are ready to go. To be honest, the ASUS Cloud Recovery Service is a terrible experience. I hope you don't have the Wi-Fi connection issue on yours.